guys, hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Tofumi and I'm film on lifestyle, fashion and entertainment. You know baby, from Lagos, Nigeria. If you are just joining my channel, please now nah, feel free to subscribe. It takes us a second. Just click on and turn on the notification bell so I can be among the first set of people to view my videos. You know as the day go. My old subscribers, see people already know as the day go. And you tell me bow on the eh, 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 eh. You know now. <laughs> How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are fine. Are you guys are smiling? Yes, be happy. Remember, be happy, stay cool, and smile. So today, guys, hey hmm. Google, be careful. Now express it, they go. Moto go jam you. Hey. It don't happen. I don't tell him. It don't happen. I don't tell him. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. It don't happen. Hmm. Ego go don't dance go express. Yes. I'm not to don't jam him. So on Friday, guys. Hey. They get they be no. <laughs> don't be serious. Okay. So, like I told you guys on Monday, Michelle was expected. Okay. I did that one in the video. Please, if you've not seen that video, you can go back to my previous video on Ultimate Love and just check it out. So, I don't know if it's an eviction fever, nomination fever, or anything. The house is just sometimes cold, sometimes warm. People are just different. Couples are just having issues. Issues upon issues upon. It's not small things. You start seeing them having issues. Press David were having issues over the other day over David caring too much. I don't know where that one is an issue again. She was saying I cares too much. She makes her feel like a child makes her feel like she doesn't care about herself. And I was like, it's my duty to care about you. And then it became a, a case of, it's my duty to care, okay, let's say for example, it's my duty to care about you. You can't just be, be, be behaving childishly. And, she, then, and then she's going to tweet, so I'm childish. I'm not saying you're child, I'm just saying that you're behaving immature. So I'm immature. You know those petty, petty couple fights. That's what I see as. And then from there to Bola to having an a conversation over something petty still. All of them are just having petty petty fights. And then Auntie came on Wednesday to have a couple sessions with them. And in the couple sessions, she was asking them, okay, what, what have you discovered about your partner? What are the new things you discovered about your partner? Um, do you think you made the right choice? And almost all of them said, nothing almost. All of them said, yes, they made the right choice. Except Jerry, that is Jerry and Mary Tim that said, uh, they don't see that ship. Eh? I, I don't know if it's a ship yet, but all, they are still at the still sure, still looking for whatever it is that is going to carry them to their destination because I don't understand what is going on with Jerry. First it was with Sylvia and now it's a Meritim. And the thing that when Meritim first came, it was all over her, it was all over the place, Meritim, this Meritim, that and now he's making the girl feel like she pushed herself on him, which is not true. It's just, it's just sad to say a girl go through all of that. I mean, I'm sending love her likes to Meritim. I don't know how she's coping, I don't know how she's going to cope, but low-key, I sincerely feel like it should not come up because it's just giving us some mild torture, you know, some emotional torture that when somebody asks you, what, what did you do? You're not able to give a tangible reason, a tangible thing. You don't have anything tangible to say. You just be like, I don't know. It's, it's just, and it's evident in the way she tells others, she tells Sylvia. And <laughs> it's actually funny that she goes to Sylvia for advice. I mean, well, that's, <laughs> that's not like a new wife going to go to say, ah. Madam, or mommy, or our mommy in the house, or please, so what should I do to make our man happy? But I think Sylvia is doing a good job telling her, okay, you can just calm down, just calm and then come around and all of that. Then, on front, they're okay, before that, then she asked them, if, you're, if, you, if you see your partner's ex in the house, what are you going to do? Most of them said, ah, they don't know. Ikechi, for example, was saying, ah, she doesn't know, she doesn't this, she doesn't that, she just. Then she said, um, you don't know how you're going to react until you are in that position. So she doesn't know how she's going to react. She's going to be cool. She's going to go bonkers. She's going to throw, throw time, tantrums and all of that. And then when it was I, Chris Aston, I said they are an ex for a reason. I mean, even if the ex comes, so it's you that will be prepared. It's you that will be prepared because now I'm loving someone else and that is my focus. And Teresa said, if any ex should come now, like day or day, and on Friday, Party started normal. It was Chris's birthday. Happy birthday in, in areas to Chris. I mean, that lady is phenomenal. I must say, yes, I love, I love her so much. So happy birthday in area. In case you come out and you see this, or Chris's fans, please, in case she comes and she see this, just happy birthday to you. So it was Chris's birthday, and the others was. I, I love the way all of them wished happy birthday. All of them said 
something to her. All of them said how they felt about her. It was all love, so everything was fun and they loved it. Then later at night, Auntie sent a cake to the house. They asked the cake just before the party, and she was looking out for the party as for the birthday girl now. They got to the party, everybody was dancing their partner as usual, and uh, the dancer's school, that is many things in our gang, all of them were really dancing. And sincerely, I must say at this point that I missed Cherry. Cherry is the life of a party, of and life of any party itself. Cherry is always there. Cherry is always the one that was ah, in them. And she has a very, very flexible body, very, very lively and pure. I mean, we miss Cherry, but she's on to better things with Michael Knight. So, only for I to, I think he wanted to just pick something in the house and he just entered and we saw someone coming from the door. One, ah, hey, people of God. Immediately I saw the person, I was dumbfounded. Was, immediately he saw the person, when I saw his reaction, I was like, this person has to be I to X. And I was not wrong. Immediately he saw the person, and when the butler took her to the booth, he just sat and started sweating. Teresa so looked back, she saw his sweat. At the point, she was completely like, okay, what's going on with this man? And then she saw the lady. And then she looked at him. I think that normal woman instinct. So the lady looked at his reaction and added one plus one. She just knew that okay, this is the trouble that they've been telling me about. This is the ego that they've been telling me that the entire express not to jam it, not to have jam it because. <clears throat> and then I went to meet her. You know, you know the way I is I is I is all this romantic, romantic, big kind of person. So he went to meet her. He whispered some things into her ears. I'm guessing that he whispered that she should just be calm and all of that. That it's nothing. And then we saw something that I kissed her and then um, went to the booth. And then the ex sighed with the, oh, uh, how are you doing? It's been a long time. And I was like, I didn't even know that if you even paid you, you're going to come here. I was like, no, I need to see you, blah, blah. And they started flirting, flirting, thing. I've seen your Theresa girl, but really, what did you see that babe? And this is the place where I want to my anger. Guys, it is a very, very terrible thing. I don't know the number, the amount, I said number. I don't know the amount of jealousy, I don't know how much you want, even if you want the person back. Putting another woman down is never a good thing to do. Most on a live TV. You are not part of the contestants. You were just paid to come for a few minutes and you went to date to disgrace yourself like that. Because I won't say that as disgracing Teresa, I will say that as disgracing yourself. Because how will you just open your mouth and say things like that about another woman? All because of what? You are dating the person. And then she was like, oh, so now uh, that she didn't know that what did even see in the babes, like it's not as if she's the finest here, like there are some, some, some other fine babes. And I was like, okay, show me the other fine babes. And then she looked around, she couldn't say what they did. And she was like, um, but really she that what was the attraction? And I was like, oh, she's beautiful, I love skinny. And when I was dating, you were not this big, you were skinny when I was dating you too. No, not skinny. You were slim when I was dating you too. And when I saw the girl's show back pictures, she wasn't that big too. And then she was like, Oh really? So what attract and it was like she's beautiful, she's skinny, she's I am attracted to slim ladies, that was the first attraction. She's intellect, she's intelligent, she's a doctor at 23. I mean what not to love about her and she's mature for her age and I love her most importantly. And lady was like, Oh really that's um she makes you happy. No, before that she said I feel like after me you need to upgrade. And at that moment I was like, Auntie, like Auntie, please tell butlers to push this girl out. I know you came here to flirt, I know you came here to make her jealous, but you don't have to say those shits about another woman. Even if you feel like she's not going to move, she's going to come out and she's going to see videos, she's going to see clips. And forget it. You don't know what you might be involved with her in the future. Ah, who can't see a party like you about to say it? You don't have to say that to another woman. You don't. And then I was like, intellectually, Theresa is an upgrade. And that was when I said, for every dust, there is a ghost. Like me. And, and, and then the Momo girl said, Yeah. I'm like, Oh, okay. So you said, Yeah, I agree that intellectually, Theresa is better. So, and you feel like, Okay, since I have the old body, I have to prepare with the old body. And after that, she was, she started with the old me, old me, like, is Theresa going to get angry? And blah, blah, blah. And then after that, she said, She wanted to dance. And I was like, Okay, go on and dance. I said, I'm, I'm dancing for you. I said, You want to dance? Dance. And then she stood up and began to give him a lap dance, was rubbing his head and I was like, okay, this is the point where Teresa is going to come here. She's going to put, put you out of here. But Teresa was, <laughs> my girl was sweating and she was taking the whole of her call. She just she took from Sylvia, she took from Kachi and she was just, all, all, all the love guests. I was commenting, all of them were just hugging. Everybody went to meet her, everybody was hugging and trying to cheer her up, trying to make her dance, trying to do all of stuff. just to take her mind off the whole scenario. And after everything, the ex left. And when she was even leaving, she made some looks. Teresa was just like, okay. And after that, 
I think I knew that there was struggle already because people don't jam me by his wahala. Because after Moto Jam me Google, like Obese said, what's going to happen if I really go carry him? And I go carry the wahala. So he went to sit down for a few seconds and then he came to he went to meet Teresa and he all, and she was just only she was still like, Oh, you know what the normal women can trust. She, she she didn't make a fuss out of it. She just, you know, rolling her eyes and trying to wiggle out of his arms and all of that. He just held her and he danced. And after the party, after the show, now the part, after the party now the show, and he had the sleep, but after the party the show now started. Hmm. After the party, we saw him talking to her in the room and and all came and I know and I was like, oh I know the babe, blah blah blah. And yeah, he was like, oh really you do? And I, she's a cool babe, she's a short babe, and I, and I thought that okay, somebody is feeling bad about this person's visit. You shouldn't say that. But then again, we react to things differently. And then people of God, Teresa was like, I know it's a game. I know she came here to play a game. I know they paid her to come here, and I understand all that. But there, there was something she said. I apparently told Teresa what they had said that. Oh, why did they choose her because she's skinny and all of that? And she was like, You don't say that to another woman. Queens don't do that. You don't put another woman down because of a man. And as I said, She has girl. Tell them, girl. Tell them. Tell that girl. Like, you don't do that. And then people were like, Okay, what did she say? And then she told them, and like, Oh, man, nah, nah, that's very, very terrible. And everybody started saying, I shouldn't have told her. And I was like, See, if I don't tell her, she's going to get out of here. She's going to see the clips. And she's going to hate me for not telling her because then we won't be in this place. She might be, Teresa resides in Abuja, I resides in Lagos, she might be in Abuja and what if she switches off her phone, what if she just blocks me and I, I don't get any means to reach her, what am I going to do at that point? But let her know right now and let her, anything she wants to do, I'm going to contain it right, right now, right now, I'm going to forget everything and move on. And I was like, okay, to some extent I reason with her, I like, she's going to get that and she's going to see some other things that she might not like. Okay, so. That was this one. Teresa was still all, and I feel like she was all over the place like that because she was tipsy. She already took some alcohol and all that. So she, she was just later they ended up settling because you know I I I is a smooth talker. She couldn't escape it. He talked to her. He told her it's, it's, she's an ex. And to think that that ex has a boyfriend. Hmm. You have a boyfriend. And you have the guts to come on that on live TV to come and tell us about another woman. Like, okay, I think I'm beginning to dwell on this ex too much. Okay, so. They, ended, they actually um, made up and they kissed for the first time in front of the camera. Ha! Guys, yeah, that kiss was hot. And as if Auntie put kissing syrup inside the drinks that they drank that day, then we saw Sylvia and Chili Pants. They took away, we have to kiss at the dining. I'm like, okay, bring it on, tell me more. And then we saw Ike and Theresa to kiss, and I'm like, okay, mm hmm, yeah. Yes, something is going on here. And then after that, I started with the whole words of affirmation thing. You're the love of my life. You're this, you're that. I'm attracted to your body. I love slim women. I'm going to be with you to get of time. I'm going to do this. When I'm out of here, I'm down for you. And I, I, I didn't make, um, I, I didn't actually give her room to say that. But and at some point, I had to shut her down and all of that. And then Teresa was my, see, you cannot escape that kind of thing. Like, the way, even me that was not Teresa, I was feeling it on her behalf. And after that, we saw Kachi and Rosie, where they were, they were giving us all skills. I'm like, ah! And see, see, see the children that I said they should not do fornication. This is really, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> after that, everybody went to sleep, but they were still gossips up and down. People were still talking like, and they had some housemates say that, ah, Teresa is too skinny, Teresa is this, Ike has eyes for boots and ass and all of that. And then today, on, so, on Saturday, when they were, they were ready for God, the issue, eh, it was time for them to record their vlog. Your fans and Teresa sent a message to an ex to like, Dear ex, you are an ex, so therefore you remain an ex. Like, presently, you are an ex. I'm like, I was, I was indifferent about it because I felt it wasn't necessary. But then again, I felt like you don't tell people how to react when they are grieving, really. You don't. That was our own way of saying that, guys, you cannot pension me. You have done enough. Come on, come on, come on, be going. And then I said something that I really found. I was like, even with all the body and all of that. She's our next already. So if, if that really mattered, I, she wouldn't be an ex right now. And then Teresa was like, oh, she has forgotten all of that. But then she feels like people are spiting her in the house because of her body structure. The other day somebody said she couldn't be a queen's wife because she's skinny and queen's don't marry skinny ladies. And the other day somebody said she looked like a mosquito or something, something. Different, different comments from different angles. And the other day, so, then on Friday, somebody said, oh, really, I was going to leave her after the show. So, so many comments from different angles. Sincerely, we are human. Let's not lie. 
it was going to break her in one way or the other. No matter how confident you have your body, such things are going to make you feel bad. You might not dwell on it for a long time, but and then she she asked, she asked a question. She said, If you are telling me that your spec is slim lady, I don't know how slim that lady would have been for her to be having your spec and you guys did it for three years. And sincerely I reason with that she, that question needs to be asked because looking at that person, she doesn't seem like someone that was as skinny as Teresa before. I mean, uh uh and I saw the ex's throwback photo and I'm like, okay, she was slim, but she wasn't skinny. Like, she wasn't that slim, she was, she was, she was like a size, even at that slim, she was like a size, eight size 10. Teresa is slimmer than I am, and I, even me, I still consider myself skinny. So when Teresa is slimmer than I am, I mean, please, let's tell ourselves the truth. And I was like, books and ass will not raise my kids, books and ass will not what I'm communicating with, I found communication with you, and it was just giving her all the, uh, Go we'll play baby girl, yeah. It's me and you, and she was like, Families are involved already. This thing is involved. This da 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 da. Okay, so today is Sunday. Today is nominations day. Today is checkout day. And I really, as much as I really want to predict the couple that will be checking out today, I really cannot predict the couple that will be checking out today because it's a tight thing. So people are saying, Oh, baby, so people are saying, Jello, so people are saying. A merit team, a jerry team, and sincerely, let's put sentiment aside. I feel like jerry team should go home because both of them are obviously not in sync with each other, and there's no reason keeping them there. It's just torture for both of them. Jerry's spec is obviously not in the house, merit team too cannot spoil another person that because obviously everybody's coupled up. So, anyways, I'll be giving you the live gist from the checkout show later tonight and the nomination show later tonight. So, that's it. Stay tuned to my channel, subscribe, like, and share my content. Because, 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 because you're beautiful. <laughs> make a good one. Make more to do jam. I beg, I beg, I beg. Subscribe to my channel. Let's do this together, guys. That's on this. I remain your baby girl. So for me, don't forget to stay happy, share, JJ, and smile. I love you guys. Bye.